so in our session now we will be discussing polyline and we will compare this polyline with line command and its benefit as well if you see line command you can construct multiple lines but each line segment will be separated or treated as a single segment but in case of polyline you can draw continuous segment which will be treated as a single family object or a continuous segments you can attach and you can treat this as a single group other than that you can also construct arcs and you can provide various properties to arc like the radius and angle starting and ending notation etc other than the line command as well so we'll see how you can create the polyline you can go to polyline and you can define your start point then you can define your next point let us say 750 then once you want to draw another arc from this end point you can switch by right clicking and going to arc and you can define the arcs diameter that is maybe 500 then again i need to draw one line you can right click and go to line and you can switch to line and in this way you can create continuous arcs and line and you can construct polyline and press escape to stop this command now you can see when you select this will be a single object other than this you have various other options loaded with polyline command if you go to polyline command you define your start point if you go for right click you can define the width you can see as well as half width if you go for width the line width you can assign let us say 50 i am assigning the starting width and ending width also 50 then you can define the width of the line i am defining the length so this is the width of the line and this property you can directly check from the inquiry command and you can understand that how the width is varying or that is constant etc if you go to the inquiry command you can directly understand the various properties go to list enter and select the object and enter then you can see the constant width is 50 and length is 1500 just like that if you want to vary the width what you can do is you go to polyline you define the start point right click go to width define the starting width as 75 and ending width as 25 and your length as 1500 in this way you can see how the width is varying from the starting to the end and you can execute list command and you can verify whatever the changes you have and you can see here the starting width parameter and ending width parameter how they are varying and you can see the length as well in some cases you no only the half width as a dimension so no need to double and go for the full width so we have a facility here inside polyline known as half width if you specify the start point right click you go to half width and i am defining the half width as 50 that means the full width is 100 of course because that dimension is given to us and just like that the ending width i am defining 25 that means this is 50 and the length is 750 let us say if you go to list and you will enquire you will get the same thing i have specified 50 as the starting width you will get the 100 as specified 25 at the ending width you will get 50 because half width you are entering during the prompt just like that if at all suppose i have defined one line in some particular direction 
and I need to continue from this end with the same direction but I don't know the angle you can go to polyline and you can define the starting point and you go for right click and you go to length if you go to length and you specify whatever the values you need it will follow the same direction which you have taken for your last segment this is my last segment and automatically the length command will consider the direction or the angle which you have for the previous segment.